there's nothing more refreshing than an ice-cold drink on a sunny Malaysian day. For many, cracking open a can of soda is a great way to beat the heat. But too much of even the best-tasting drink can be bad for you, especially when it's loaded with sugar. It's no surprise that Malaysia's love for all things sweet, including our beverages, has come at a cost. One in five Malaysians, roughly 3.9 million people, live with diabetes, according to the 2019 National Health and Morbidity Survey. What's scarier is that half aren't even aware they have diabetes, which is among the top causes of death in Malaysia. So what can be done to solve the problem? Well, one thing the government has done was introducing a sugar tax in 2019, targeting beverages with more than 5 grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. But has it worked? Former Deputy Health Minister Lee Boon Chai says it's too soon to tell. Uh, I think it's a bit too early for us to uh, look at the data and analyze because uh, for that, uh, most of the public health measure will take a long time for us to really benefit, uh, realize the effect. But I think we can see at other countries which have imposed this uh, product tax, like Chile, like uh, Hungary, Mexico. I think they have done studies and show that actually by imposing uh, such a product tax, the consumption of those uh, certain uh, beverages is be reduced. Beyond the sugar tax and cutting down on sodas, Lee says there's no running away from healthier eating habits and exercise. I think in terms of uh, food intake, uh, the uh, term Tupu uh, Sku Sparo uh, is a famous term where they encourage you to take more food, more uh, vegetables and less carbohydrates. And also uh, 10,000 steps a day, uh, a regular exercise. I think they should continue so that we hope that people will consume less carbohydrates, not just sugar, less carbohydrates, less refined sugar, do more exercise. Hopefully, we can lead to a healthier nation in the future. Dr. Lu Chi Yen, an internal medicine and nephrology specialist, says the sugar tax should be seen as a starting point rather than a silver bullet. What is important is building awareness, and Lu says this has to start at a young age, especially through the promotion of healthier lifestyles. Incentives for companies to produce healthier food and beverages should also be considered. Of course, the other problem is that Malaysians just aren't active enough. The most recent National Health and Morbidity Survey provided some shocking statistics. Four in five adolescents are physically inactive, with two in three leading sedentary lifestyles. Even though people drink a bit of sugary drink, if their activity, their exercise, their lifestyle is good, sometimes they can digest very well. Natasha Bust, FMT News.